Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for March 5th through the 11th. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Generally my readings are love readings but lately, I mean some, they're weird. They haven't been. Some have been, some haven't been. So we're going to see what comes up. Ooh, the temple path. Maybe you're going down new road. Maybe somebody you're dealing with is going down a new road. We will read that card at the end. This is for the sign of Capricorn. This has to do with a path, a path that you are going to take or the path that you are taking. And we have the devil card, which represents you, but it's reversed. So many of you are freeing yourself from something. You're removing some kind of some kind of toxic situation or some kind of lies or something. Some sort of control is being removed. Maybe you're letting go of the need to control something and to have a happier, healthier home life. You could be letting go of the controlling tendencies that every Capricorn has, and I am a Capricorn moon that says that you need to be in control maybe you're letting go of some of this need because it looks like you're letting go of this need to control so that you can have a more happier um comfortable home life um yeah it looks like you got you're no longer focusing on some sort of loss i'm going to concentrate on the future that's what it looks like it's like you are you are beginning to realize the truth of the situation and perhaps you're going through some sort of recovery you're having more faith than you've had in a while and i feel like it's as you're you're something has caught up to you something has caught up to you that has opened your eyes and perhaps allowed you to have more faith in in your commitment perhaps or in your home or in your stability or your you know your establishment whether it's at work or at home there is some sort of letting it go i'm just not i'm not going to i'm going to let this go i'm going to let it go and i'm going to move on so that we can all be happy um yeah you are. You're removing lies. It's like, or are removing obstacles from your life. You're removing obstacles that have been hindering you, acting with more love and compassion probably than you ever have before. I feel like you're, you're, you're just. I think you're letting go of some sort of grudge. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you're letting go of something that was hindering the family, hindering your the people, or you know the people you work with. There was some kind of sabotage or work or grudge or animosity that I think that you guys are, are letting it go that's what it looks like to me it's like I see relief here and you're just it really appears that you're no longer going to feel isolated by this situation and hold it in and, and stew over it it's like I'm, I'm just gonna let it go it's like I'm not gonna sweat this small thing I'm gonna let it go so that we can be happy and at peace I think you're acting out of uh, compassion, you're you're having some compassion of some sort. That is, it's been a long time coming, because I think that you guys have have held your heart uh, tightly surrounded by aluminum. You know what I mean? And I can't. I'm just looking at the, the throne and, and with. Uh, you, your heart has been guarded, put it that way. And I think now you're, and so you've had up this shield, the shield around your heart that wasn't going to let anybody come too close 
because you had to remain in control. And I feel like this is a time where you let go of that control and let something go. Yeah, being objective. You are. You're being objective. I think you're being objective to change. You're being objective to... Um, having faith seeing what happens you know what I mean I, I, it really looks like you guys are changing something you're shedding the old ways you're changing your habits let me zoom this in yeah you guys because the, with the magician card it's, that's a very positive successful card it's where you you take the action from within you use all the resources within to prevail, okay? This is as above, so below. It's like you guys are... Something has caught up to you. Some kind of notion or some kind of... Maybe it's even karma, you know, because we are in the time of karma, right? Something has come up that has made you realize that this tension needs to go. This tension in your life needs to go. And I feel like you're ready to let it go. You're ready to let something go and be more objective about the situation. Be more objective to other people's point of view. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are making some positive changes that are shedding some old ways and you are willing to do so. It's like I'm willing to to do whatever it takes to bring peace and harmony back to our lives. That's what it looks like to me. Um, it looks like I'm really willing to give. I'm willing to give whatever it takes. Okay? Um, and as you give, you receive. And I think that you've come to that realization that now it's a time. I think you're giving generous. Genu you're being generous at this time with your... I think there's a lot of kindness here as well. But then, oh, that just ruined it. Sorry. Um, you know, I think that there's something that some truth that has come out. Some hurtful truth has come out. It may have come out harshly. Something could have happened spur of the moment. Okay? Something could have happened spur of the moment that changes your thoughts. Okay? Maybe uh, there's a bit of chaos or a bit of disorganization or a, a something happens. And it really causes you to refocus on your life. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Where you, something intense, because this is intense. Something intense happens. And it happens very quickly. And as it happens, um, it brings on some trial or challenge, okay? It's going to bring on some challenge that causes a little bit of disorder. Causes a little bit of chaos. And... You learn from it. You gain wisdom from it. And you may, you may lose your concentration for a minute. You may. But through it, you regain focus. Okay? Because I think that this opens your eyes so that you can refocus on what's really important in life. And I think that you do. You start to refocus on what's really important in life and remove obstacles that are hindering a happy family or a happy outcome with other people. It's like now you're ready. You're ready to offer love. You're ready to offer support to someone because there was a lack of togetherness and now... You're ready. Now you're ready to offer some emotional support to someone because of some chaotic event that changes your changes your path, okay? I feel as though there's some sort of you weren't seeing a situation clearly and now you are. Okay? There was some sort of Unable to follow your intuition, unable to listen to your inner guide, unable to do the right thing. And that was a control thing because that's the first card, the devil card, which is represented by Capricorn. But I think you're letting go of that need to control and you're ready to go with, with your intuition. You're ready to go with 
what is meant to be, whatever. I feel like you guys are changing, you're shedding your old ways. You're shedding your old thoughts to allow um, peace. I keep on seeing peace. I just want peace. I just want everybody to get along. Life is too short. Life is too short for people not to get along. So I'm ready. I'm ready to give in. I'm ready to offer. I'm ready to offer love and let go of the need to control the situation so everybody will be happy. I mean, it feels like you're ready to follow a different path. I'm ready to go down a different road because this was, it's something has happened. It's been too much. And and it's caused a lot of unhappiness. And I feel like now you're ready to release it. Whatever has caused all this conflict, whether I think it's within a family or, or it could be at work, in the home, whatever. There's some kind of conflict in regards to relationships that hasn't been working out. It hasn't been working out. Nobody's been happy in this situation, including yourself. And I think you've come to this realization that you're going to release these doubts. You're going to release these fears. You're going to release this control need to control the situation and be objective about other people's reality to allow everybody to follow their own path as it, as it is. You know, that's their path. That's your path. This is my path. And be comfortable with it, you know. Um, I feel that you guys are headed towards really, really good things because of this change. Because you're you're shedding your old ways. You are, because that's what this is being willing to shed your old ways. The magician cards, that's the outcome. That's what you're doing. You're shedding your old ways. And as you shed your old ways, everybody becomes happy. It's like the wishes start to be fulfilled because that's what everybody wanted in the long run anyway. Okay? With this nine of cups, it's like there's happiness. Okay, there's happiness that comes in and you may be feeling like really, really good because of it, because you were part of it. You were the one that decided because it was really in your hands. It really was. I think that you were the controlling factor here. And I think that you finally decide that it's not about control. It's about happiness. Nobody was happy. And I feel as though there was a lot of immaturity here, but somebody's grown up. Somebody has grown up quite a bit and they don't want to, they're looking for the real deal. They're looking for, they're looking f to, to get more than they've been getting. It's like I haven't. I haven't received the love that I wanted. I haven't received the stability I wanted. I haven't received anything good out of this wanting to be in control. It's like there's a lack of emotional support, a lack of, of kindness, you know, a lack of uh, moving forward, of anything getting any better until somebody let go of their ego, let go of their ego and decided to take the more mature approach, okay? I think that somebody here has totally, totally decided to stop concentrating on what's happened in the past. You know, all the, all, whatever has happened, whatever has happened that has caused a lot of disharmony in a relationship, a home life, a family. They're deciding to just, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm ready. I'm ready to work this out. And that's unconditional love. That's exactly what it is. Somebody has done some soul searching or will be doing some soul searching that instills unconditional love and as they do that they become very high vibrational for one thing and they become very strong gentle compassionate compassionate uh, and beautiful so I feel like many of you are are letting the old needs to control a situation go and seeing things from a different objective, which is allowing peace and harmony to come back to some family dynamic. And I think this happened because of some sort of chaos or chaotic event that opened somebody's eyes and made them realize that life is too short to not be happy.
now we're gonna read this card. And I'm not sure if I zoomed it in because I've been terrible about that. I did, thank God. The Temple Path. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. And that is exactly what this reading is about. You've evolved. That is amazing. The winding path you the winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that what you are going through now is all part of your soul's purpose. You are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make now are important for the for your personal growth in life lessons. This card just reiterates everything I just said. Wow. The lights around the temple represent the spirit world. Your family members and friends, angels, and guides. All the loving spirit helpers, helpers who long to assist you. Call upon them and be open to their wisdom and inspiration. Oh my God. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways. And connecting with spirit and your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience. You guys are evolving and you're letting go of animosities, the need to control, and you're being open to others. I see that you've done a lot of soul searching and you are headed on the right path and things are changing for the better. Remember I mentioned karma? Something has happened. I think that you've fulfilled a karmic debt. And now is a time of awakening and allowing and evolving. As above, so below. Your awareness has just amplified. Talk to you later.